Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brad and Supercoach Pro. Today we're looking at the Thursday night game, Melbourne versus Brisbane. Now, we're just going to go over the relevant players or players that got injured that make other players relevant. Starting off uh, with Max Gorn, um, 138. Amazing. 51 hitouts, obviously, that says to me, if you didn't watch the game, which I didn't get to, it means a lot of his hitouts were sharked, um, or else that would be a huge score. And just note, this would be a lot higher score too if um, Melbourne actually won. He would have got some scaling. Um, so if you're a non-owner like me, you probably got away with one tonight. 51 hitouts and 23 disposals is just insane. Um, well, he didn't get a lot of marks around the ground, and I feel like that's where he can get some really spike games there. He only had the one goal as well. So still VC'd him. Well done to you. I think most of the competition would have, and you'd probably taken that run because well, – Bond to anyone else is probably going to get about par, um, but not much better than that. Now, scrolling down, Billings, he probably should have culled, so not relevant. Now, 65 of the quite Nile, but we're going to go over him shortly. I want to have a look at why he isn't scoring what he used to be scoring. Blake Howes had 30 in the first quarter and then 30 for the rest. So if you held on to him, it uh, doesn't really matter because you're probably going to have to trade him next week for a downgrade. Uh, it's one of those Gold Coast boys. Um, he probably only made 5K. And he's probably in your worst four scores for this week. So congratulations if you held him. Probably a waste, to be honest. But at quarter time, you would have been cheering and getting the popcorn out. So for me, yeah, uh, whatever. How's you know, you've already gone out of my side. Petrarca, 59. Here's one we have a look at after the Richmond game. Um, potentially, you wait till he gets to about 600K mark. Now he's got that in the system. He'll be in the next two games. So hold off that pick, and if you own him, don't sell him out for that. Like, they just played horrible tonight, it's clear. Um, wins out, you've got to call him. Uh, he's gone. If you're still holding on to him, get rid of him. Um, and none of the other guys. Debut, you know, 34. Well, he's probably going to get dropped, potentially. Um, so, yeah, uh, they've got to change something in this side. And then Salem injury is relevant for Marty Hall. Um, he's done a hammy, so... Depending how bad this hammy is, it means Hall could come back to that side sooner than what we think when he's back from his finger injury. Um, nothing too much relevant from that Melbourne side by those players. Oh, Rainer, if I get any comments in this saying, should I pick Rainer? Don't even. Like, just unsub. Don't unsub. I'd actually be really sad. Uh, Dunkley, 122, could bring him in. He's a bit of a pod. Um, but I just want to see him ceiling games from him. Um, Zorko, Mate, he's 35. If you want to take that risk in the forward line, sure, go for it. But it's not one for me, especially if you got Yo, McGovern, players like that. I wouldn't be doing it. Um, McCluggage, nah. He's always been like a meh sort of pick, so I don't really want to hear about it. Hockey Neal, um, 109. Yeah, I uh, probably thought he was going to Vegas tonight, but yeah, 109 is okay. Just a bit handball friendly for me, so... He's not one I'm going to look at. I know he does have some huge games in him, but I uh, still like some of the younger boys, especially in, later in the season. You might see him regress a little bit. Um, and I can't see anything too much relevant. Oscar McInerney, well done for not making Gorn go to 200. At least he did something. Um, 26 headouts to 51 is ridiculous. So like you lost immensely and you suck. And if anyone has him in Super Ghost team, what are you doing? Uh, Kyle Oman, interesting one. DR had a... Um, a segment on him because yeah, he's obviously a Mads Lions fan. And, yeah, well, well done if you bought him. But for me, as potential sub risk and I'm not a fan. Uh, so, yeah, if you bought him in though and you feel him, you're probably not not too fast. You did a right for 160K. I wouldn't bring him in next week, though, that's for sure. Um, Zach Bailey, 68. Nah, nah, nah. None of these guys are relevant. So I probably wanted to take more of a deep dive into a couple of players, particularly Oliver. Now, if you're the three percent that own him, I'd be getting right off him um, to anybody. I'd, I don't even know. I'd rather Horn Francis than Oliver right now. Um, I know it sounds ridiculous, and I'm not a JHF fan at all. But 156 break even. If he was to project to go 89, he was going to lose 30k. He's probably going to lose 45k and be f sub 500. Do you buy him against Richmond? Probably not. Now, um, he's he scored well against us in the past, but this is not the same Clary. This is a snowman Clary, um, if you know what I mean. I just, I don't know what it is. His points per minute isn't great. Apart from this 1.2, that's all right. 
Uh, minutes on the ground's not huge either. Um, it was around zero and slowly regressed and picked back up in the Port Adelaide game. So where are we losing his scores? What's his normal time on ground? We don't even know to go to footy right, right now. So minutes he was having on ground before this, um, 103. Is that seriously what, right? Yeah, okay. 105, 110s. And his point per minutes were 1.5s and 1.3s. And that was last year before his injury. Let's take a look at 2022. Before the come down years. Um, interesting. Let's do a bit of a deep dive into this. Where is Oliver going wrong? So this is his 23 log, right? And he doesn't need high disposals to get high scores. Like he's got 31 disposals there and manager 164. It's his tackle game. So 9, 10, 7, 6, 13, da, 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 da. Yep. All right. So let's have a look at his games tackle-wise. So if it looks like he gets a six or seven tackles, he's hitting that 120 mark. Now, that was last year. Let's go this year. What is his tackle numbers? But for me, why isn't he tackling? Is he carrying something? Um, tackle numbers this season, two, two, five, six. Okay, the five and six aren't too much to worry about, but the twos and twos are. This is really a worrying sign for me. Um, disposals, okay, he's not getting a lot of marks around the ground, which doesn't really matter. He is a lot more handball friendly in tonight's game. Just no disposals there. He's 50-50 there. He's more kicks and handball the first two games. What is he relatively like, though? When we go back, let's go back to 2022. His career best season, all right? Kick to handball ratio for me. All right. So it is a split. Yeah, okay. Look, it's pretty consistently even. And he's probably a little bit more handball friendly. It's probably 55 45, or even 60, 40. Um, obviously, no hit outs. Goal assist, okay, inside 50s. What are we missing from Clary? Is it disposal efficiency? Is it time on ground? I think time on ground is one of them. So let's have a look at Clary's time on ground. And where do we want to pick him up? What time on ground says pick me again? So 78% time on ground. Okay. And what was it? Round one. So Clayton Oliver, what are you doing? Now, I wouldn't be picking Clayton Oliver until he bottoms out. Let's say he averages 80 and his price is 80. That's when I'm buying him. So let's go round, let's go round one. What is Clary doing here? And then we'll have a look at last year's. Let's just get a bit of an idea. Player stats, um, time on ground. Yeah, we saw it at 78%. What was it at the start of the season when he was totally unfit? Blowing cobwebs. Okay, this is bad. This is really bad. This is 71% time on ground. This is not good. Okay. All right. Now, let's go back. We want 80s. We want 80s. Like, we really want 80s from a guy like Oliver. Let's go back. Let's just go back two seasons before Clary hit a wall. Um, No. Well, they clearly weren't playing then. Let's just filter it by Melbourne team. Clayton Oliver, what are you doing? All right, let's see his time on ground a couple of years ago. <laughs> now, he's not a husband. He's still in his prime, mind you. Tog, here we go, boys. Gorn, incredible, 97. Gorn's got to be the best ruckman I've seen in the last 10 years, honestly. But where are we? Joel Sniff, don't even. 81%, okay. So... He's not too far off if he's at 78. Not too far off. But it seems to be his tackle 
tackles to actually get him up. His marks around there. And it looks like he needs about 30 touches to be the Oliver of old, right? Obviously, we know he didn't have much of a process, and so that could be huge. He might not come good until later on in the season. But if you own him, mate, you're getting off that train so quick. But for people that don't own him, you are hoping to go from, let's say, if I could honestly do one swap with Sharp to Oliver in four weeks' time, I'm not even going to think about it. I'm just going to do it. Time on ground again. Um, Now, key defenders are always going to be pretty high. But what is Oliver? That's pretty low for Maxi Gorn. Don't tell me he didn't even play this game. Sorry for wasting your time. We can skip his 30 seconds. No, he he is. He's 89%. Okay. So this is where we wanted to find out. So I feel like it took me a little bit of diving into this, but he has the game to go 89% time on ground. Um, It could also be his clearance in in terms of um, meters gained, but it looks to be tackles and marks to be the combination. And high disposals, like he's getting half the disposals he needs to turn up, which obviously makes sense. So Oliver on the watch list, Petrarca now on the watch list of that 59, that'll be in his two scores. So it'll be against the Richmond game the week after that. Um, and no premiums I'm really interested. If I had to pick a premium, it would probably be Dunkley if I had to. But that'd be a pod move. So yeah, Oliver, I just, I don't know. I really don't know anymore if... This team can turn it around. Um, they look cooked, and that's not meant to be a joke, but they just look done. Um, we might have a look at Friday night's game tomorrow. I might have a look at the teams and go through some of the names that are relevant, some rookies and whatnot. But that is the end of the video. Sorry for wasting a little bit at the end of the time, but I just wanted to deep dive on Clary a little bit. Probably wasn't deep enough, but that's what you